Hi, it's Ann from the Useless Crafter. This is what we're making today. It's a first day board. Um, we're actually gonna make a first day and a last day using the same thing because on the back of this chalkboard is a whiteboard. So I'm gonna do my first day and my last day. And I'm gonna show you how to do that and where to get all your materials. I got it on Amazon, so I'll make sure that it's on the Amazon shop under this category of first day. Um, and that includes the chalk um, that I used, which I love, it's super vibrant. If you go to my Instagram, the useless crafter, no spaces, um, you'll see if I'll have a picture of last year and this year. So let's do this. First thing is you wanna go to images and you wanna write down this number. You have to search with the pound sign. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's go to images. And I had a hard time, I, you know, I made this last year. I have an order to make one this year um, that I'm recording for this one. I have such a hard time finding this board unless I type in this specific number. Um, so here it is and you just click on it and you insert. Okay. So I already have mine inserted, so I'm not going to do that, but once it's in, this is what it looks like. Now, um, the next thing you want to do is you want to measure your board. So my board, and I don't mean the full outside of the board. I want the, just the chalkboard part. Okay. So my board, you're going to go into shapes and get a square. And um, this is a rectangle, so you want to unlock this image, okay? So when you unlock it, you can actually just type in what your measurements are. So mine is 16.75 16, um, because 16 it's three quarters. And <clears throat> the height is 22 and three quarters. So I'm going to type in that. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, and I'm going to just zoom out for a second so that we don't have to scroll up and down for now. So this is the back. I'm going to arrange, send to the back, and I'll even make it white so it's easier or a light gray to see everything. Okay, so now this, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on here and we're just going to make it bigger so that it fits, you know, to the size that you want. Um, now you still, even though this is technically the measurements of the actual blackboard part, I don't want to go all the way to the edge because that's going to be hard to put down. So I want to just make sure that when I'm looking at this, um, you know, maybe something like this, and that just gives you more room and space to lay everything down. Now that looks good. Now what I um, ended up doing is, and let's ungroup this. I felt like we had too much space at the bottom. So when I put this down, what I ended up doing, and let's see, um, you can you don't need to play with it on here. Once we cut it out, you can put the pencil down a little bit lower. You can move the glue over a little bit. So uh, we like the board the way it is, but if you look at my pictures, I moved the glue bottle over down here. Um, I think I did the scissors, but the paintbrush laying down. So it kind of doesn't really matter how it's laid out here. This general layout just gives us, okay, this is the sizing it should be. And everything I know, if I make it like this, everything's going to fit. Okay, so now that we know that, um, let's ungroup everything so that we can start changing some of the colors. Like, for instance, my banner is pink. So I'm going to change that to pink for now just so that I know, but I didn't want everything pink, right? So basically what we want to do now that we know our layout is good. Um, the other thing is let's, let's put the word last on here too. So I'm going to go to text. I don't know what that font is. I was trying to search and I couldn't figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a different font for this and I'm going to, um, type in last and I'm going to change it to one of my favorite fonts. So it's happy popcorn. And it's a little bit different than just the print. So I think that'll be, that'll look cute. So here's last day. Kind of just want to make sure that you like the spacing because it needs to fit right there, right? So, all right, that looks good to me. So there is my thing. Um, I am going to weld it just so that it stays in that order. And then we'll see what color we ended up doing that. Um, all right, so let's ungroup everything. So see how this is all grouped together? 
we can't even cut it as is, right? Because it's 14 inches wide by 19. And we don't want to waste all this space when we go to the Make It screen. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take in a shape, take in a square, and just make your square really big because we're going to slice out these things one at a time. So here's the pencil. Make sure the pencil is completely covered by the square. And then we're just going to grab the pink items and the square and slice. And this way, we can change this to any color that we want. So this one, I'm going to change to gold because I have my request is for the exact same board the way I did it. So I'm going to actually use that color. Okay, then let's continue and start slicing out everything else. I'm slicing out the blue, the glue bottle, okay? And see how like, I don't even care what else. I just wanna make sure that my glue bottle in this image is in the square by itself. And then I'm just gonna grab the pink and the square and slice. You can only slice two items at one time, okay? So that's gonna be the pink and the square. Now I'm going to accident or on purpose, pick up three items. I'm going to pick up this pink, this pink, and my square. Okay. So see how my cursor picked up the two pinks and the square slicing is no longer available, but look at my cursor. Okay. So this time I'm going to go pink and square still, I haven't moved anything. It's still in the same amount of traffic as it was, but my cursor is only picking up those two items. I can slice. So don't think that you can't slice in traffic, like with all this stuff. You just need to make sure that your, your cursor is only picking up two items. So here's my star. What did I do with the star? I made this star purple. So I'm slowly, my glue bottle is gold. Okay, so here we go. My banner is pink. Oh, but I still have my paintbrush and my scissors. My paintbrush and my scissors are gold, so I'm gonna do this. And they're so close together that they're pretty efficient. I'm just gonna grab it like this, slice it. I'm gonna keep them together. They'll cut together because they're pretty efficient as is. Now, the other way to change the color is you can go to Color Sync and you can grab this and just move it down here. Okay, now my pencil my gigantic pencil where are you okay i see i'm going to keep this here because i may still need to slice out other things but so far um all right so here is this let's slice out our pencil or our crayon so i'm going to move it down here grab the two items slice so my crayon in my original is, oh, it is gold, but my dots are pink, yeah. Okay, so things are starting to line up. Let's get rid of the slice results here. We don't need that. Um, and all my words are purple, I think, yes. So let's just change that to purple. And we can get rid of this because we don't we only needed it to to get our spacing. So here it is in purple. That means this is going to be purple. Actually, it doesn't. Hold on. So we have so far we have everything the way we want it, right? So I'm just going to move all this stuff over because we need to duplicate it for our back side, right? So let's grab this and I'm gonna duplicate it. Go to layers and duplicate. I'm gonna move it over here. Now I'm gonna change the colors though, because on the back, instead of gold, I think I'm just gonna change all my gold items. Um, I'm gonna make it, I think I picked out the colors. It's gonna be a light blue. So let's change that to light blue. Um, so that means all my gold items. So that's pink. This is blue. This will be. And the reason why I'm not doing it in the color sync is because I'm not going to be able to tell this one from this one. So that's why I'm clicking on it and changing it to blue. And my glue bottle is also blue. 
All right, so we are essentially done, except for we need to change this. Um, obviously, this is not going to cut well. Um, and also the way I did it on my board, I, I separated this line right here. So let's slice it out. And the reason why I did it that way is because I left this line straight because I have a whole roll of um, glitter vinyl. And so I'm going to, you can cut up to 23 and a half inches long. So I kept this line straight and together, but these two lines, because I was going to slice it up, I changed this line to a little bit up here, this line down here. So it doesn't have to be straight. It's, it's easier when things are purposely not straight. Okay, so here I'm going to slice out this piece, right? And then I'm going to slice out this piece. Okay, so I've got my, I'm just going to delete this for now. So I've got this out of the way. Let's move that. So this, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to duplicate this because remember we have the first and the last. So I'm going to duplicate this here because it's already sliced out and I'm just going to delete this one because we've got two sets now. Now this, we do want to um, uh, slice this out so that we can cut this better. Um, so let's bring in a square. And we'll keep the phrases together. So I'm going to delete this because we're going to end up duplicating whatever we sliced out, okay? Um, and I'm going to change this as well to purple. Okay. So now when I grow up, we'll slice that out because we want to keep it together because then that way it's easy to, it'll, it'll be straight. The whole, you know, the, the spacing will be perfect. So we're going to do that. So here's this. Um, let's slice out things I love. Right, so slowly we're getting everything out. Um, let's do... I want to be, so hold on, let me move my, turn my square around. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> All right. And it doesn't need to be straight, right? Who cares? All right, let's grab these two things, slice. <clears throat> um, get rid of your slice results, right? We don't need that, so... And I'm moving it over here and lining it up because I know I'm going to need to duplicate it for my last board. So that's the only reason. Otherwise, I wouldn't care where I put it. Um, we can turn this this way and get my first day, right? So here we go. And you see, I'm in a lot of traffic right now, but I grabbed my square and I grabbed enough of my purple thing. So I'm going to slice it out and it's still going to be perfect. Okay, so here's that. Now on this one, we don't need the word first twice, right? So um, let's, we'll deal with that in a second. Just remember that we don't need the exact thing duplicated. All right, so let's see what we have here. Okay. Of course, my gardener, I apologize. Hopefully he'll move on. Sorry for the noise. All right, so let's slice up that piece. Okay, here we go. We're almost done. Then all we have to do is make it, but I'm gonna show you some tips on the make it screen for sure. So stick with me. All right, so let's see. I am years old. Now it's gonna be up to you if you wanna save this spacing. So you, if you slice out I am years old together, but there's that empty space right here. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually just going to slice out years old. But this is, you know, it depends on if you care about saving 
being efficient with your vinyl or do you want to make sure that the whole thing is easy and straight? I, I'm kind of like a combination of the two. So, you know, I'm going to keep IM together, but the years old, I'm going to line it up myself. But I'm also going to show you some tricks on how to line it up on your board. So that's going to be the assembly part of the, of the video. So, um, you know, maybe try it my way um, just to see if, um, it still works and it's, you know, as efficient as can be. Okay, so let's go in shapes. Let's bring in a clean new square and then we'll slice out the last part of this project. So here's I am. Slice. And then slice out this and then we're done. So let's do that. Slice. And then my teacher is and that whole line will be one whole thing because that's going to be, it's easier to line that up together. All right, so let's get rid of that, the square. Get rid of our slice results. Okay, so we have all of this over here because we want to duplicate it for the back of the board, right? So let's do this because everything else we've already duplicated. So here's that. We're going to duplicate. All right, but what we don't need is, let's turn this around. Okay. And let's make sure it's straight so it's easy for us to, there, that looks pretty good. Okay. So on this one, let's bring in a shape, the square. And we want to make sure our square covers the word first. Okay, so click on the um, lock. And we're going to stretch it out. Okay. And then we're going to slice this out. So grab the two items, slice. Delete that. It's slowing down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get rid of that as well as this little guy right here. And then we're just going to move this in. Make sure we like the spacing of that. You can do this and you can do a range or I'm sorry, a line and center and I'll center. Oh, hold on. Did I do it right? No, I don't want it. Okay. So now I'm going to grab the word last. It's centered one way and then just scoot it over. And I'm scooting it over with my arrow key, but that's going so slow. Come on. Oh my gosh. It's come. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to click on it. Hold on. Click on the word last. Where's my word last? It's like not letting me click on it. Where are you? Okay, here we go. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move the other one. There. So I like the way that looks. So now I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to weld it and it's going to cut together like that. Okay, I think we're done. So let's get rid of this. We don't need the, the item number. I I think we are all good here. So let's go to make it and see if we can make it as efficient as possible. Okay. So we're okay with that. Okay. Uh, oops, we didn't get rid of that. So hold on. Cancel. Let's go back to this. Let's look at the panel. Okay. So let's scroll down. Everything should either be purple. Oh, here's our slice results. We don't need that. So we can get rid of that. And here's our other slice result. We don't need that. Okay. Now let's go to make it. Okay, so this is going to be a super long piece of vinyl. And do you see how you can scoot this over even a little bit more? And then I want to make this more efficient. I don't want this big space right here. So maybe we can do this. Right? And maybe this one can, oops, <laughs> let me move myself out of the way. Um, 
Yeah, I like this. Um, I'm just going to do this. And the reason why I like this is because when I cut out my vinyl, so I'm going to cut out a 12 by 24 piece of vinyl, glitter vinyl, okay? And that means, or I'm going to cut out 6 by 12. That means the next time, or 6 by, wait, how long is this? 6 by 18 piece, okay? Then that means the next time I have a 6 by 18 piece that's super easy to use rather than like a little corner here, a little corner there. I probably can make this a little bit more efficient, but whatever. Okay, so this is our pink. Our pink is good. Let's look at our gold. And maybe for the gold, I want to do the same thing. I want it more thin. Like I don't want all this space, right? So let's just move our stuff over. Let's turn this around like this. There. So this is going to be um, maybe five and a half inches by a little bit over 15. Okay. Um, you could even stick this inside. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Okay. Um, and you could do. this just depends on how you know how you want to do your scrap because if we did this then the next time you, you know if you cut out a 12 by 15 and a half piece of vinyl then the next time you can you have this big space right here to reuse so it's totally up to you how do you how you want to use your vinyl all right so we have the same thing in blue so you can turn this around Right, stick it in here. We're really using the scrap, um, you know, or you could do it like this and have that scrap. Okay, here's this one, things I wanna be. This is pretty efficient, but maybe we can flip this this way. Things I love. I mean, we're just talking about minimal savings right here, but right another inch, I probably could do something better right here. Um, yeah, that looks good enough for me. Okay. Oh, and that's it. So we're going to cut it and then I will see you back when I am putting it down together with the tips on how to keep it straight and without bubbles, okay? So see you in a little bit. Please post your comments and let me know what you liked, didn't like, maybe we can work on that. And then also your questions. And if you have a special project yourself, I am more than happy to create a tutorial for you to follow because I think that's the best way to learn is you watch someone, but then you still have to recreate it in your own design space. So I'm super happy to do that. Just let me know. All right. Bye guys.